this is the continuation of my previous videos on the Mifair Ultrawide AV1. In this video, I'm going to discuss a couple of interesting points about the Ultralight EV1. So I've connected ACR122 to you and I'm going to place a brand new Ultralight EV1 tag. So we have seen this. The first thing you do is I have to activate and click on the read uh, tag. So this reads the entire tag and the data is shown in the grid. So I'd like to discuss about the configuration log bit. In the previous videos, we have seen the protection, the auth limb and auth zero. And so I also mentioned little bit about the configuration lock. So what this configuration lock means, this bit which is which is uh, which has got writable or locked applies to these two pages the config 0 and config 1 page and if you look into the docu documentation it's clearly mentioned here so this bit activates the permanent write protection of the first two configuration pages so if you set this bit so you are permanently locking the configuration pages and you cannot make any further changes and it also says if you ever try to write you will get the negative or NAK response and the most important thing here is I'm going to demonstrate this it says the write lock is only activated after the power cycle of this tag so I mentioned this in my previous videos so while you start reading this documentation Please give extra interest on extra reading on the remarks section. So there are a few important uh, uh, bits and pieces there as well. Now assume that I want to lock the configuration. So I'm happy with having everything as it is to recap. I don't want any page to be locked. I don't want any, for example, I don't want the auth limb. So I just want you know, I'm happy with that. I don't want anybody to make any changes to these two pages further. So the way you do that is choose the locked and I would like to show what is happening behind the scene. So choose is locked and say right. Now as you can see here, uh, this software shows the page 1617 as a locked and if you look at the commands this is just a simple or a basic write page command it's update binary the iso command so you have to be very careful now if i remove this tag these two configuration will be permanently locked so however the documentation says the locks are active okay only when i reactivate but i'm going to undo this now I'm going to make it writable. So, this is, you know, if you click here, the button is uh, disabled. This is done by the software. So, I'm going to click elsewhere. Or, I think, you know, that the software doesn't let you uh, write. However, we have provided a button called the safe mode is on. If I set safe mode to off, so here, so we the software allows you to do whatever you want but keep in mind even though the software lets you do the right operation the card doesn't let you do that sometimes so i'm going to revert it back to writable and say write now looks like the writing has gone or so it still says you know this could be a bug here it's like i'm going to reactivate going to take it out so you can see that you know the configuration uh, is not locked so let us try to uh, lock it again but this time I'm going to keep it permanently locked as well so go here locked So it's permanently locked. So you don't have to remove the tag. 
So I have a feature here called RF off and RF on and these two commands are related to PN532. So I'm going to set RF off. Now this is same as you know taking the tag away. So the tag is not powered anymore. So I'm going to reactivate and click on a read. So you can see that these two pages are locked. I'm going to try to write and see what is going to happen. So first you have to click on safe mode is off and I'm going to say try to change you know not only this locked I'm just going to assume that I would like to password protect say protect from page number 10 right so this is something you know I wanted to show in this video if you look at this response a write to the conversation page has given us a positive response. However, if you try to read, you know that the read fails because we try to write to a protected page and the tag has gone back to the, the initial state. So this proves some of these responses are a bit misleading. So you have to uh, do something else I'm going to show you soon. So we try to write to a locked page and we, we got this as a success response here. However, when you try to read the tag, the entire read operation failed. So I'm going to reactivate. So I'm going to show you now um, a method you can use to detect whether the previous write operation was a success or failure. So I'll try to do the same thing again going to try to change the auth to 9 so that is the page number 9 onwards I want uh, the protection uh, to be applied so click on a write and purely based on the response 90 I'm showing this the call write or this config 0 write ok however there is a option here called get status this is the status of the PN532. If you click that, you know that this is, there was an error in the last operation. So, so this is how you can detect if the write was a success or a failure. So put in other words, if you're creating a software and if you are trying to use this ISO or PCC commands, after the write operation, you can check the status of this and it keep in mind in PN532 once you read the status this the flag will revert back to zero and I know that you know this tag now as has got into an error state it has gone back to the the initial state the only way you can use this is to reactivate the tag so in order to do that try to read any page from here so you get an error page okay so once it's an error nothing you know nothing works after that you have to reactivate something similar happens so let us try to lock a page so I'm going to lock uh, the quickest way is probably I can lock the page number uh, four five six and seven I'm going to lock so these are these pages are locked now and we try to write and see what's going to happen so I'm going to write to page number four so keep in mind we have just locked the pages we have still we have not deactivated the tag we're just trying to see whether the write will happen or not we just wanted to check if the lock the page lock requires you know to restart or re, uh, re, um, initiate the tag so I click on a write again here the write is success now we still don't know so I'm going to check the status and you know it's a there was an error a timeout error now how do you know this uh, write is not success you try to read the tag tag follow so what is that you know we learned from this uh, scenario what what happened was unlike 
the configuration lock if you lock a page the lock is effective immediately after the write operation so the the lock the page doesn't need it to restart the tag so that's what you know you have to keep in mind now this is this works very similar for any other protected page as well so keep in mind we have just locked the configuration however the password is not locked at all anybody can come and change the password i can write the password so authenticate is fine i can change this to change the password password rate is success i can change the pack oh sorry so this needs double validation here so so i should allow only four digits here in hex mode right so write is successful so when you make a application using this uh, tag you have to uh, protect these password and pack pages so i cannot do in this tag because the only way to set the the locking or the password protected page is to change the values in the configuration section which i cannot do because uh, the configuration page is locked so i might need you know one more tag to show you now a very similar thing will happen when you try to write to a protected page so i'm going to use uh, one of my used tag to demonstrate uh, the password protected pages now here the pages from page number 4 onwards is uh, a password protected so the w here means you need to authenticate to do the right operation however you can read all the pages so because of that you know we are able to see the data i'm going to try to change the value of a page so if i try to do now so this is a, a message from the software says write to protected page authentication required now i'm going to go to the the unsafe or i'm going to turn off the safe mode i'm going to write this time so it says the write is successful because this is purely based on the response 9000 however if you go to the get status you will know that there is a, a error the error 01 and to prove it try to read either you can see that you know you cannot read because uh, the tag is in the error state and it will go back to the the idle uh, state so the only way to reuse the tag is to reactivate so click on activate so you are done i can read it so th this concept in you know, a applies to all the tags you use in acr122 so when you get a right success right you should check you know the the status over here so lastly uh, keep in mind whatever protection or locking you have on the tag all these three counters are always unprotected so it doesn't depend on whether you authenticate doesn't depend on any of the locks you can always read and write to the counter so this can be a, a feature of this ultra db1 so the counters are always readable and always writable so i'm going to increment this counter by 45 45 right now it's incremented so you can read the tearing event as well anytime so increase this by so you can see that the right is always you can always write it